We've been told time and again that climate change is a great equalizer and that it affects everyone equally. Well, perhaps not. The impact of climate change would hit faster and harder on the marginalized communities. Take the water crisis in Bengaluru, for example. For the rich, it's a minor inconvenience about their precious flowers drying up, but for the poor, it's a matter of health and sanitation. It's similar for extreme heat as well. In this case, the division is also based on gender. Women are significantly more vulnerable to extreme temperature conditions compared to men in India, according to a new study. Since 2005, data has shown a concerning gradual rise in heat-related deaths among women in India, according to an analysis published in the Significance magazine. We find through descriptive statistical analysis that publicly available data for India shows that females exhibit a heightened susceptibility to extreme temperature conditions, specifically heat, compared to males. Ramit Debnath, University Assistant Professor and an Academic Director at the University of Cambridge, told Down to Earth. The research team relied on 30 years of extreme temperature-related mortality data to find answers as India lacks high-quality national data on temperature-related health and healthcare. They extracted mortality and population data from the global burden of disease and India's daily temperature data, which includes mean, maximum and minimum temperatures, from 1990 to 2019, recorded by the India Meteorological Department. Their analysis showed that men showed a gradual decline in deaths with certain spikes linked to temperature, whereas for women, it showed a gradual increase in deaths from 2005. The percentage relative change in mortality rates decreased by 23.11% for men from 2000 to 2010 and 18.7% from 2010 to 2019. Whereas for women, the percentage change in mortality rate increased by 4.63% between 2000 and 2010 and 9.8% between 2010 and 2019. So, the question has to be asked, why is it so? This is still unknown. The study is a perfect example of the data equity gap. Compared to the global north, where the linkages of extreme heat and women's health has been clearly established, Global South has failed because of the lack of quality data. The study mentions that the decrease in male temperature-related deaths could be possibly explained by advances in public healthcare infrastructure, socio-economic upliftment, and increased access to cooling and heating in the country. But given that about 54% of women in India stay indoors, one might think that they could be safer from extreme heat. Well, according to experts, Women in the Global South are especially at risk due to rigid cultural norms and societal expectations which limit their ability to respond and cope effectively to extreme temperature risks. Staying indoors adds a higher vulnerability factor due to poor built environmental conditions like lack of ventilation and cooling agencies. However, these are all calculated speculations as they have linked women's fatality rates with heat but they couldn't draw concrete conclusions due to the data equity gap. The lack of high quality national data also has impeded the team's understanding of whether Indian women could be at a higher risk due to socio-economic challenges or physiological conditions. As we talk more about climate change, the question of climate justice and equity will take centre stage. It is imperative to find how vulnerable women are to heat stress and thus devise methods to protect marginalised communities in a climate-risked world.